previously on the Ultimate Iron Man series. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. We did it. We fucking did it. Oh my god, dude. Yes. 193 KC. We get the Zami Spear. We unlocked the Zamorakian Spear. The last item that we needed to finally begin the Chambers of Zarek. This has been in the works since the beginning. Two years in the making. We have finally arrived. In this video, I bring to you part one of the sub series. 1,000 Chambers of Zarek or Twisted Bow, whichever comes first. Enjoy. <sighs> Alright guys, it is time. I'm pretty much done getting the inventory together for Chambers of Zarek. I feel as though it's time to turn in our Zamorakian Spear for a Zamorakian Hosta. Oh boy, I'm not even going to equip it. We've never had a Zamorakian Hosta on this account, and we're never going to, because I'm going to immediately convert this thing into the Dragon Hunter Lance right now. Yes, it cannot be reversed. Proceed with the alchemical combination. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh yes. Holy shit. This account is officially finally ready for grinding chambers of Zarek. One of the things that we actually have to do is go ahead and buy the attack skill cape. This might sound weird. Some of you have probably never used this thing, but we're going to want to bring a dragon defender to chambers of Zarek. And uh, we currently have a dragon defender, but if we put it in the stash unit here and we take it out, we'll have to bring the slayer helm and dragon battle axe with us. Uh, I don't want to bring those. I mean, we could just elk the dragon battle axe, but then the slayer helm's still in the inventory. So what I'm going to do is get a second dragon defender using my first dragon defender, because with this, I'm allowed entry into here. And with the attack cape you can actually stay in here forever so you don't have to use tokens which is pretty nice as you can see Lorelei recognizes your skill cape so once we get the dragon defender we'll have two we'll go ahead and store the other one and then we'll just have one remaining <laughs> that only took like 10 kills that's super nice dude and now we can store one of them and have one of them all right so I think we're pretty much almost ready to start our first ever raid on the ultimate Iron Man I went ahead and suicided about 25 raids worth of super combat and range potions so I think if we just take one of those equip an item and then take a super combat yeah beautiful that way we don't have to carry the noted potions in the inventory so it saves a little bit of space we also have our blade of salador rune pouch and dark claw in the hespori which are untradable items which would not be used in the chambers of Zarek, so they're going to be here for safekeeping if we die in the chambers of Zarek, we will not lose those because it is a safe death all right boys well we've got this raid scattered on the alt aka the maxed iron man and i believe we are actually ready to go ahead and start the raid i have no idea how this is going to go um, it's been probably uh, six months since I've done any raids, solo raids. I do have like 200 KC solo no prep raids on the Iron Man, but like I said, it's been a long time. I don't even know if this inventory is... This inventory looks pretty good, honestly. I mean, here's our full setup. We got all the Xenite jewelry. We got the Brimstone Ring, Dragon Warhammer, Dragon Hunter Lance. Pretty solid setup. So without further ado, the raids grind has officially begun. Oh, well, we got to the final phase at least. I wasn't really expecting to complete the first raid. <laughs> Please do not look at the points. I died about, uh, I don't know, 10 times. Totally forgot how to do the final phase. Torn Prayer Scroll, baby. <laughs> we get our first unique. Oh my god. That just unlocked the Preserve spell. I guess let's go ahead and use this bad boy. Um, Learn Preserve. Boom. We now have one out of three prayers unlocked. We are off to a great start, you could say. Ah, we made it to the final phase. Oh, so close. Got him to 500 HP on the final phase. Ah, same as last time. Got him to half health on the final phase. Well, three quarters health. Oh, there is a 20,000 point raid and looks like no purple, but at least we're like getting pretty decent points. Pretty bad times, but we shall improve as we get better with this. Some nice herbs to send us on our way. Oh my God, we did it. Yay! Oh, our first ever deathless raid, man. 7kc. Oh, totally out of bruise. 31,000 points. The time is really bad. Should probably get like half that amount of time in the future. That is a very good job. Uh, I did spend a little bit of time prepping. That's why our time was so high. I do want to get these raids going as no prep raids. But man, it feels good to actually do get a deathless raid because that is our first one on the account. 7kc. <sighs> feels good, man. God damn it, dude. I should have had that. I got caught in the flame wall. Well, that was still a pretty decent raid. 36 minutes for a solo is not that bad 
bad for me. We basically didn't die. I mean, we just got unlucky at the- Oh, dude, Ancient Tablet. That is actually really nice. That is a 1 in 10 drop. We'll take those emeralds too. So we can use the Ancient Tablet on our mounted Xerix Talisman, and that unlocks the uh, Xerix Honors Teleport, which is super, super nice, because previously, if we wanted to get the raids, we were teleporting to Xerix Lookout, and it'd be like a two-minute run over here. But now we can just go straight here. Oh, the raids grind has kind of officially started with that, because now we can just come straight here, grind it out. Yeah, 10kc at the chambers of Zarek. Probably shouldn't have died there, but that's okay. That is a pretty solid raid, dude. 33 minutes, 29,000 points, deathless, and we only used, looks like, uh, six brews. So this is getting pretty close to being able to do no prep. That is a great job crafting XP and Addy darts. It's really fun. I'm gonna do another one. Damn, dude. That was almost a sub 30 minute raid. 31- 31,000 points. And we get our first purple, oh my god, 15 KC. Okay, oh my god, dude. I can't believe, I can't believe we just got this. Okay, I mean, the beauty of it is that no matter what it is, it's going to be unique. I would love, honestly, I would love Augury. I would love, love Rigor. <sighs> Any piece of Ancestral would be so nice. Obviously, anything on the Mega Rare table, Kodai, Twisted Bow would be ideal. Elder Mole, I would take anything. Is it, oh, dude, Dragon Hunter Crossbow would be so good. Oh my god, dude, we got our first purple. Okay. Anything except a Din's Bulwark, I think would be pretty damn good. I would be okay with that. <sighs> All right, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? <laughs> Dexterous Prayer Scroll. Dexterous Prayer Scroll, 15 KC. I will fucking take that, dude. Rigor is extremely, extremely good. Oh my God, that's gonna make just raiding so much better, dude. Holy shit. A 15 KC Dex, that is so good, man. Oh my God. That's like one of the main reasons that I'm even here at all. Dude, I will fucking take that. I'm gonna go ahead and read that right away. <laughs> oh yes, dude, Dex. Oh my God. Wow, learn. Rigor, baby. Oh, that is fucking sexy. Honestly, dude, that unlocks like so much content. Like the Gauntlet, Kriara, Commander Zilliana, Theater of Blood, just everything. That unlocks every single place, every single place you use range, that just like makes it significantly better. And since range is just like the dominant DPS in old school, that's just like, oh my God, dude, that is unbelievable. That's amazing. Also, as you can see on the screen here, we do have to do this process between each raid. For those of you who don't know, Ultimate Iron Man can indeed unnote items on the bank chest here. So we just unnote our noted potions, convert them into four doses, and we'll be on our way. It does take like two to three minutes though, because it's so many doses. And we do sometimes end up emptying quite a few. But I suppose this is just the life of an Ultimate Iron Man. Holy shit, the difference that Rigor makes is so nice. No back to back, unfortunately. Only 18,000 points that time. Hey, our second Torn Prayer Scroll though. Looks like these Torn Prayer Scrolls alk for uh, 48k, so that's uh, not too bad. And just sold all those soul runes to the shop, giving us over 100k. Dude, imagine ever using Eagle Eye. Why would anyone ever use that? Back to back Torn Prayer Scrolls and 142 Grammy Dwarf Weed. Nice little double herb drop. We take those rubies, I'll take it. All right, so I'm just finishing cutting up these rubies. Uh, I am gonna have to suicide. Currently our Zora scales are in our looting bag here and our Trident of the Swamp is running out of charges. Only 52 charges left, so almost even ran out on that last raid actually. But before we suicide, we have to get all of our stuff out of this bori, otherwise it will be deleted. And guess what, boys? We just got a brand new update. Today is Wednesday. And if we scroll over here, pull 74 changes. Players can now make dark flippers, combining the dark claw and the flippers from Mogers. We have been holding on to this pair of dark claws are, I don't even know how long at this point, like eight weeks or something. We did the entire Krill Tutsaroth grind with a dark claw in the inventory. Can't believe we actually did that. So I'm going to go ahead and do that as soon as possible. I really hope they're storable in the POH. I do already have the mud skipper hat and the flippers. So let's go see if they end up being storable. If not, that would just be totally annoying. Buy the dark flippers. It's irreversible, which means we lose the dark claw. Dude. <laughs> Oh my God. We might be the first UIMs in the game to have these. Honestly, like it probably wasn't worth it to hold on to these for as long as we did. We did the entire Hydra grind. We did like the entire Shaman's grind for the Dragon Warhammer. Now let's see if these are even storable. If they're not, I will be utterly destroyed. Hey, Dark Flippers, individually storable. That is 
It's so nice, dude. Those are so <laughs> those are so cool looking. Honestly, this whole process isn't that bad. It only took us like 17 minutes to get all squared away here. And now we are ready for probably another 50 raids or so. So raids like this, where it's like Mystic, Shamans, Tightropes, Mudadile, Ice Demon, these are like only range bosses. You only use range on them. Having rigor is just like going to be so nice. It's going to speed the raid up so significantly. Another solid raid, boys. 32,000 points, 34 minutes, 20 KC. We only use six brews. So we are... Hey, there's our first elite clue. Aventos, Dragon Arrows, Sweet take those. We're improving, man. We're getting it down. Unfortunately, we have to drop the elite clue as it has a wilderness step, but uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw these Grammy Aventos and Dragon Arrows into the looting bag. We have like a lot of space in here now, so just on the very slim chance we do up getting a Twisted Bow, it'll be nice to have a nice big old stack of Dragon Arrows. Not expecting to get one, but seems like there's no cost to putting them in there. 100 Aventos, damn. That's going to be 100 stamina potions. That's just... Super nice, dude. Oh, hey, that's pretty neat. Level 88 woodcutting. I am just editing the next video, and uh, I guess we got a woodcutting level. Some nice loot. I suppose I've got a good enough understanding to show you guys uh, how I re-gear for every raid now. Generally, I'll teleport to Nightmare Zone. That's where I've got the coin stash, and I can buy some teleport runes from the Wizard Guild. Come over here, withdraw, you know, like... 2k come over to the wizard and i'll buy you know five home teleports come over to the mind altar nice obscure access to the wilderness hopefully no pkers i'll throw the loot in the looting bag according to my scout we need let's see we need an axe and an anti-poison generally for the anti-poison i'll just use the uh Khazard battlefield and we'll just run down to the anti-poison spawn you know right here and since this raid is actually a range only raid should be pretty fast uh we'll come over to the farming guild where we've got all of our potions we'll just uh take a range potion and if we needed melee potions we take these teleport to the house use the mounted xerix talisman and we'll hop in the raid and we'll start scouting on another world on our scout account and just like that we are ready to go and at the end of each raid i'll just come back to collect all the supplies i didn't use throughout the raid and then that means i'm not using as many supplies which is nice holy shit that was the closest oh my god oh my god <laughs> oh my god i didn't see what it was that was the closest fucking raid dude no prayer no run no food Oh my god, 25 KC, we got our second fucking purple dude. Yes, man! Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, dude, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a, that's pretty good luck. Um, Oh my god, I almost died. Okay, I, dude, okay, this could be anything. This could be fucking anything. As long as it's not like a Dex, as long as it's not a Dex or, you know, a Din's Bulwark, uh, Twisted Buckler, those would all suck. Dragon Hunter Crossbow, that'd be awesome, man. I'll take anything, dude. Anything that's unique, man. Any piece of Ancestral. Let's see what we get. <laughs> you know what, dude? I mean, that is great. I am, like, pretty inaccurate. I mean, my mage setup doesn't even have a pants, so, I mean, this is gonna be a great addition to our mage hand at the Ulm. That is awesome, man. 25 KC, we got both. Well, we got all three prayers unlocked. Uh, that is fantastic, dude. That is just absolutely wonderful. Couldn't be more happy with that. Honestly, man, you cannot be mad about your first arcane prayer scroll. It makes this like mystic luring, skeletal mystic luring, quite a bit easier. I mean, this gives a lot of defense bonuses, so it's really, really nice for certain things. Hey, our first ever dark relic and 59 Aventos. Guess we'll just be using these Dark Relics on Herblor. I don't see why not. Don't really know what else I'd use them on, so. 13,000 Herblor XP, beautiful. I love it. Hey, another Dark Relic and some Cadentines. I will take it. 34 KC. Ooh, Elite Clue and some stuff. Hey, we managed to actually complete the Elite Clue. All right, let's see what we get. That is, uh... A lot of food, I guess, huh? Oh, geez. Thank God I decided to check my uh, the charges on my trident. I'm only at 56 left. Uh, normally, I would have to suicide to get these aura scales out of my looting bag, but I did go ahead and store all of them in here at Hespori. So I'll go ahead and take these out and the chaos runes as well. So we went ahead and bought all the runes we need, and now we can just go ahead and charge this bad boy up. May as well go ahead and charge the blowpipe too while we got the scales. So I think we got 12 raids completed with the trident of the swamp, fully charged, which means in another 12 raids, We'll have to come over here and get the Zora scales out of the looting bag. That might be a PB, I think. Is that a PB? Hey, that's almost our first sub 30 minute raid. 39 KC. 
Holy shit, that was definitely my best ult by far. Only used like three brews. So that's kind of where I want to be going. 41 KC, no purple. Hey, we get the double ore drop. And we get the dark relic. Beautiful. I wonder if we'll get like an entire herb lore level by the time we're done with a thousand raids. I've already gotten like 45k herb lore XP, so I wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Hey, that's our first ever so oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Hell yes. Fuck yes. Okay. Sub 30 minute raid, first time ever. Oh my god, 44 KC. We get our third purple chest. Our third purple chest. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I am ready to open this thing up, man. Dude, that looks so sexy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that purple lights. Oh, okay. Please no prayer scroll. Mega rare table would be nice. All right, I guess let's go ahead and open this up, dude. Imagine if it was a twisted bow. Uh, okay. I mean, what is that? 15 mil for the main. Uh, that is, that is fine, dude. Would have been nice to get a unique, but we definitely take those. What the hell happened, man? I'm, those used to be like 60 mil. Why are they only 15 mil? Regardless, this thing should get us like three bonds or so, which is pretty damn nice. 32,000 points. No back-to-back, -back, unfortunately. First rate of the day, 45 KC. Double herb drop, beautiful. 46 KC, 30,000 points. Nice. Teak planks, and that's our first ear at seed drop. That might be our first teak planks. Yeah, so those are both uh, going to take up these two inventory spots, and then that'll be all the loot that we're getting from Chambers of Zerk. We now have 10 different types of grimy herbs, two types of planks, and dragon arrows, as well as the death and chaos runes. I guess also these Addy Ore, and maybe we'll get Rune Ore too. Addy Ore will be Addy Darts, and Rune Ore will eventually become Rune Darts. 50 KC, the big old 5 0. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That is beautiful. You know what that means. It's the moment that no one's been waiting for. Looks like we are rank 240 with 50 KC, meaning that only 240 UAMs have completed 50 raids. All right, no purple. Never lucky, man. The blurb drop will take it. Oh damn, you know what? That is a 28, 25 raid. That is our first sub 29. We are getting better at this, man. All right, so we ran out of charges on our trident again, which means we have to suicide to get the Zora scales out of our looting bag and managed to get to 55 KC before having to suicide again. So we did indeed get uh, about 25 raids out of each suicide here. If I recall correctly, we suicided last time at 25 KC. So that's actually 30 KC. What the hell? I didn't know that you could get a long bone from these things. I just discovered this method where you can actually just like walk under him under every tick and uh, you just pray melee. And since you get full damage protection from pray melee, you just don't take any damage from the small meta dial. Range protection only gives you like half protection. So that's like really, really nice to like pretty much negate most of the damage you get. So uh, I forgot my to buy a rune pickaxe for this raid. The first room is guardians. Uh, I figured since I spent like five minutes prepping for the raid, I may as well see if this iron pickaxe does enough damage to this thing. I got from a scavenger, you know, the scavenger beasts that drop all the supplies. And apparently this thing hits like over 20. So I don't know why I ever wasted my 30 2k gp on a rune pick every single time i wanted to do a guardians raid when i could just do this 69 kc no purple on the 69 kc but we do get our back-to-back -back dark relic and some nice uncut rubies holy shit 27 minute raid that is definitely going to be a pb wow that is really nice and that's 71 KC, get the rubies and the grimy irrits. I feel like 27 minutes is the kind of time we should be getting if we do no prep, but since I'm prepping like an entire inventory of potions, it does only take like three minutes, which isn't really that bad, but ideally we'd be getting like, you know, 25 minute raids or something, but since our gear is still not quite ideal, we don't have any ancestral or mage bonus, it's pretty bad. We don't even have any range boots or anything like that. All things considered, I am pretty damn happy with the way things are going. The beauty about solo raids is that I could take a break, get some coffee go to the bathroom you know get up do some stretches whenever i feel like so this 40 minute raid was more like 30 which is like super convenient that's gotta be a pb right 26 minutes yeah 77 kc that is pretty cool to see man no purple unfortunately is that 81 kc 82 kc 31,000 points as usual hey there's an elite clue scroll we take those yeah yeah that's right buddy i'm the king here Elite casket completed. What do we get? Ooh, well, <laughs> uh, that would have been cool if that was like something we could actually do. But yeah, it's nice to get a unique from the elite clues. 
it's pretty damn rare. That might be our second unique elite clue in 32 elite clues, so I'll take it. Don't think I'm ever, I mean, I'm just going to drop this. There's no way we could ever get a Dragon Full Helm to put the ornament kit on it. You can actually store the Dragon Full Helm G as well as all the other stuff. So, I mean, theoretically, we could store the Dragon Full Helm, which would be really, really awesome. And, you know, without the ornament kit, you can't store it. So, yeah, but I mean, obviously, I don't have one of those and probably never going to get one. Probably never even going to try. 83 KC. So I've been meaning to do this for the past like probably 20 raids or so, but I feel like I'm getting pretty comfortable with only bringing in like five or six brews that I'm going to go ahead and add a magic cape to our repertoire of equipment because we do splash a lot on the great ohm on the mage hand and this magic cape gives an additional max hit and also a pretty substantial magic attack bonus of plus 14. That's kind of like bringing half of a mystic rope top. So I'm uh, definitely going to take advantage of this in the future. Also, if you're wondering why I don't bring like a mystic rope bottom to go along, like to complete the set it's because the mystic row bottom doesn't really give that good of bonuses it's only plus 15 magic attack and defense which only gives like one percent accuracy increase on ohm which isn't really worth it to be honest so we're just gonna leave that in the poh i fucking love your vids man been watching them all day that's the feels pretty good for someone to say that oh hey guess what uh, i just realized we just hit 25 million strength xp a little bit ago that's a pretty cool milestone oh what okay I think we got the, the whole loot there. I don't think I've ever died like that before. Yeah, it would be cool if there was like a thing that showed you how many deaths you had. So you could like tell if you didn't get the full loot. Uh, kind of hard to tell with that. I'm just assuming we got the full loot for that one. The full 32,000 points. Hey, there is the Easter event completed. Beautiful. That means we, uh, I think we just got the, yeah, that was the last like emote that we needed to unlock aside from the clue scroll emotes. We also got all of the, uh, all the music tracks. So that means we can get the music cape once we like just do a couple more things. I think we need to get a champion scroll, probably enter the inferno and like enter theater of blood, but we are no longer locked out of the music cape due to seasonal events. I'm assuming by the time you guys see this, it'll probably be like two months from now or so. I do kind of prefer to keep the series a bit timeless, but the RuneScape holiday events sort of take precedence over that. Well, I was just getting ready to make a clip about how I was having the best ohm of my life. I only had, I didn't, I don't think I used any brews before the final phase, but <laughs> we just got totally slapped on the final phase. Almost out of brews. Might not even do this. Probably going to do this though. All right. That was close. 94 KC. No purple, unfortunately. It appears as though we've run out of charges on our Trident of the Swamp again. So going to go ahead and suicide to uh, continue doing some Chambers of Zerk rating fun content time so somehow we managed to get like exactly 2500 death runes which is like just the right amount that you need to charge up the staff so uh that's like really nice man we're like profiting death runes off chambers of zerk i did not expect that to happen well after 20 minutes of getting the inventory together i realized i forgot a death bank the blade of salador and the rune pouch so if it was just like one item if it was just the blade of salador i probably would have just did the 50 raids with like minus one inventory space, but the fact that it was two, it's kind of unmanageable. So gonna have to re-suicide the whole thing. <sighs> there it is, boys, the big 100 KC. No purple, unfortunately, double herb drop, we take those. I'm kind of getting to the point where I can sort of just like not really concentrate too hard and still manage to like have decent supplies by the time we finish all. I think I'll probably start even streaming these now. Ideally, we want to be getting less than 30 minute raids every single time, but since we're going to be prepping all of our inventories, it's not really something we can feasibly do unless we're going to like buy scouted raids, which is not something I'm interested in doing because I am scouting all of my own raids. We've gotten three drops in 100 KC, which means we are, well, I guess we're just like on the drop rate, just like very slightly dry. But yeah, guys, this is really fucking fun honestly i'm really enjoying this 100 kc kind of incredible we are one tenth of the way to the 1000 chambers of zeric goal and yeah so i have already got my next raid prepped up gonna go gear up for it gonna go ahead and bank these in the looting bag and i suppose i'll see you soon